Hello, welcome to round nine of the Great American Stampin Show. My name is Jody Reinert, and we are so excited to stamp with you this time because this is our Christmas debut. It's October, and when you make your own Christmas cards, you start thinking about it a couple of months in advance. So we did something a little bit differently this time. We decided to choose a product suite from Stampin' Up! instead of just one particular stamp set or bundle. So we chose the Oh Holy Night Suite, and it actually has two different stamp sets, bundles in there. And I'm not sure what my competitors chose. We gave each other the option that either one was okay. I am using the Stars at Night bundle. So there's this stamp set. There's a whole mess of coordinating dies. And there's a third piece, this embossing folder. So we've got three parts to the Stars at Night bundle, the stamp set, the dies, and the folder. And that is what I am doing for my project. So we just want you to kick back, relax, and enjoy. Watch all four videos. Go back, decide which one you like the most. Give your favorite a thumbs up, and we will see who is crowned the winner of round nine. All right, so let's get started with the Stars at Night stamp set. I'm going to be using several images from the set, several of the dies, and that embossing folder. So the first thing I'm going to do is use a half sheet of Pretty Peacock, as well as the Pretty Peacock ink, and I'm going to ink this up and stamp it right in the center of this piece of cardstock. Now you might be wondering why in the world did you use such a big piece of cardstock when it's not taking up that much space? Well, the reason is because of this die. So this die is designed to cut out that star shape and two bonus shapes at the same time. So I wanted to make sure I gave myself room to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my stamp and cut and emboss machine to die cut the stars. Now I've got the three different stars here. They all cut out separately, which is great. So it's one die, but they die cut separately. Um, and this one, you know, we had the image that matched it exactly and we die cut that, but these two don't have coordinating images. So what I decided to do, I'll pull this back in a minute so you can see. This is the one we used that coordinates with the big star, but then there isn't one that's exactly like these shapes. So what I did is I'm going to use this and this and add some background to these two stars. So for first, this larger, uh, taller one, I'm going to use these three little bursts together and just randomly stamp on this background. Okay, just adding some interest on the back. Then I'm going to take this large burst, which is so fun with all these dots. Oops. And because it's photopolymer, I can line it up right over the stamped image. Just go down and up and add those dots on there. So even though there's not coordinating images for these two shapes, I can add any image I want to that already die cut shape. Okay, so let me pull in the soft seafoam card base. I think you're going to love this color combination of soft seafoam and pretty peacock. I've really enjoyed playing with it. Uh, next, I have a layer of pretty peacock. So I'll grab my adhesive and add that. And then we're going to do some more stamping on a piece of basic white. So I cut this just a little bit smaller than I usually do so that I see more of that soft seafoam border. So this is actually three and three fourths by five inches. And then the basic white is four and three fourths by three and a half. Had to make sure I said that right. Okay, so before I just attach this, I want to take another image with soft seafoam ink and just add some interest to the background of the basic white. So I just kind of want to um, have like some 
falling. I, I kind of want your eye to follow going down this side. So just take you from the top left down to the bottom right with that progression of stamps. Then I think we are ready to add this to our card. And then we can add those three stars. Now, I am going to just set them on here. I want them to go over, like past that pretty peacock border. I want it to extend over the soft seafoam card base just a little bit. So I think I like this layout here. Now what I can do, I'm just actually, where, oh, my adhesive is right here next to me. I'm just gonna tack that down a little bit and put this one in place. And then I'll put this one on the bottom. Oops. Um, just kind of do it in the center of these two a little bit like that. Now, I could just put this one on here just like that, right? But remember, we have that awesome coordinating embossing folder. So what I can do is actually take this stamped image, line it up with the embossing folder like this, and I can go ahead and run this through my stamp and cut and emboss machine, and we'll get an embossed die cut star. So let's give that a try. Check it out. Do you see that embossing on there? That extra detail. It just really adds a lot. Let me pull that up so you can see. So instead of the flat cardstock like we have on these, we've got that awesome embossed detail. It really adds a lot. So while you know, if you've been following along with the Great American Stampin' Show, or you've been following along with my Stamp with Jody YouTube channel, you know that my thing is quick and creative cards. And while, while I stand by that, I definitely enjoy making quick and creative cards. I do like to add some special elements to the cards. Not super time consuming elements, but I, th I think adding that embossing stays true to my, to my mantra of quick and creative. Isn't that fun? Okay, so now I've got this long strip of soft seafoam, and I'm going to pull in the Pretty Peacock ink and this greeting that says, celebrating the magic of the season. And I'm just going to stamp in the middle of that tiny little strip. It's like three eighths of an inch. So it's very tiny. Oh good, it worked. Um, I think I can close this one now. So now you might be thinking, okay, where in the heck are you gonna put that big long greeting? Cause I didn't do the card this way. So how can I use that? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little paper snips and cut at an angle on each of the ends. And then I'm also going to cut between the word magic and the word of. And now that one long greeting becomes two shorter pieces that I can add to the front of my card. So to do this, I want to add Stampin' Dimensionals and I could take one of our regular dimensionals and cut it in half. I, I could have used our mini dimensionals, but what I'm going to do is just use the edge and these tear so easily with your fingers. So I'm just gonna tear off the edge like that and flip these over and put some on the back of that. Oops, the paper came off already. Some on the back of this one. And then peel off the backing and now I can just add it to my card. So I'll have this one. Um, let me scoot it over just the tiniest bit. Okay, and again, I'm being intentional about extending it beyond that layer of Pretty Peacock. So it's touching, all these edges are hanging over the edge a little bit over the soft seafoam card base. Okay, so now we've got our greeting on there. We've got three stars, this special focal point one that's got the embossing. There's just one little thing, it needs something, right? I mean, it's it's cute, it's quick, it's creative, it's got some special elements, but it needs a little wow. It's a Christmas card after all, right? 
So we have this new gold, and it also comes with a sheet of silver glimmer paper. Now it is sparkly. You can see how gorgeous it is reflecting the light. It doesn't make a mess. I can rub like crazy on here and there's no little glitter pieces that come off. But what makes this truly amazing is that it is self-adhesive gold glimmer paper, which means I can die cut and make little stickers. And so that's what I went ahead and did in advance was I die cut some little stars, little baby stars, and these dies are part of the package here. By the way, I'm gonna pull this in. I took out all the dies that I used on the project, but look at how many more are in here. There are so many dies and so many ideas. It, it was truly hard to come up with an idea to share because there's so many different directions you can go with this bundle. Okay, so I'm going to take my tallest star. Look how easy that is. Just peels off, sticky on the back makes it so easy to work with. So I'm gonna add that, which would be cute in and of itself, but it's Christmas, we need a little more, little more glimmer. So this one I'm going to put right up here. And now you might have noticed, I just die cut this one twice, right? I have two of the exact same shape. But watch what I'm going to do. Instead of just putting it down here like this, I'm going to simply rotate it just slightly. So instead of, let me pull this up, instead of just adding it like this, so it's just like that one, I'm going to rotate it just a little bit so that the short parts of the star are horizontal and vertical. Doesn't that make it look so different? Just rotating it just a little bit. These, to me at least, look like totally different star shapes. So now, now I think this qualifies as a quick and creative with special elements and a little bit of glimmer Christmas card. I hope you have enjoyed watching my project. Go ahead and subscribe to my Stamp with Jody YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the projects and events that I share. Watch Shannon and Julie and Brandy's videos. Decide which one you like the best and then go back and give us that thumbs up, whichever one you want to vote for. So we will anxiously wait to see who wins round nine, but I hope that you are inspired by this quick and creative Christmas card and that you've got lots of creative juices flowing as you decide what card you might make for your Christmas card this year. Thanks so much for watching.